Hello there everybody, Just K here, and today we are going to look at the Power A wireless GameCube Pro Controller again. Uh, reason being, on my last video that I did, which was well over a year ago, um, I got a lot of comments, a lot of questions, and I would like to answer those by doing an updated video uh, for it, I answered a lot of the comments in the comment section, but I think doing a video over it would make it a lot easier. Um, so without further ado, obviously I'm going to show off the page where you can buy it directly from Power A. They are on back order at the moment. Um, they also have a new style in which you can buy it, which is a party pack, three, uh, three pack. Um, they come in purple, this like grayish white silver I assume is what they're going for and black um, and then there's like other accessories that they sell but that's not what we're here for what we're here for is to see how to connect this bad boy to your computer uh, this is for Windows 10 I do not have any Apple products to show this off with I also do not have the wired version I have heard the wired version is mostly just plug and play so go with that at your leisure I will not be able to answer any questions about the wired version because of this. However, this is the wireless version. Little button on top to connect it via Bluetooth. Little dots in the middle to show you which character or controller placement you are in. Anyway, first step, you will want to, if you have not yet, upgrade your Bluetooth drivers. Do that first and foremost. Please upgrade your Bluetooth drivers. That is one thing that I feel like a lot of people do not do, and that is one of the problems with why this doesn't work. But once you have done that, open your Bluetooth connectivity settings, go to add Bluetooth or other device, and hit the top choice. Then you're going to, on your controller, press this button right here, and these will start flashing, and it will show as LIC Pro Controller. You're going to click that, and it'll connect. Note, the lights are still flashing. It is connected, but the lights are still flashing. There is a fit to this. You can set your controller down for a minute. Go to Steam and open Steam. Let Steam open up, and notice the light stopped. The reason for this is, if you open big picture mode, and you go into the settings, controller settings, and you allow the controller types, the Switch Pro controller, the Nintendo button layout, it'll recognize this as a Pro controller. You can also do generic gamepad if you would please. However, we are going to close this. As you can see though, it shows it's detected. In the meantime, we are going to close Big Picture because we no longer need it. So you can exit and close Steam altogether actually. Just go ahead and get rid of Steam. Goodbye Steam. Because getting rid of Steam will help with your controller not being able to function as a mouse, which most standard controllers do whenever Steam is active. So now that that's done, you can close your Bluetooth and open up Dolphin. So here is Dolphin. This is 5.0-321. That is my version of Dolphin. I'm pretty sure I have a slightly modded version so that I can run Project M, but this should work with any current version of Dolphin. You'll go to Controllers, Standard, and Configure. Hit refresh a few times to let it get all the controllers in there. Then it'll be wireless gamepad. You should not have to change the input device to X input or anything. It'll recognize all of your controllers from this menu if you have an updated version of Dolphin. So you can do wireless gamepad, start configuring buttons, just like this. For the sticks, I know I have gotten comments about sticks being messed up. What you can do is 
simply plug them in this and then change your dead zones and radius and that should fix it because as you'll notice the red dot and the gray dot are not exactly lined up but that's fine as long as you can reach the maximum of each my up and down are not working at the moment but that's fine i'm not worried about it you can easily fix all this by modifying the radius and dead zones uh, the modifier also doesn't i'm not sure what the modifier does personally i've never used it so i just keep it clear on older versions of dolphin there used to be a way you could calibrate the sticks through the settings from the looks of it they have taken that away it is now just up down left right so like i said if it is messing up you can simply change your dead zones and that should eventually help with these stakes. This controller is also quite old now um, and doesn't really work as well as it used to. So that could also be potentially why up and down isn't working or I just keyed it in wrong, which was probably the issue. But as you can see here, it's working now. So it's as simple as that. Um, the light has stopped flashing. Your controller is connected. You can play Dolphin at your leisure. You could try to play other games at your leisure. I'm not sure if it works with other games. I have only ever tested this with Dolphin. To turn off the controller or disconnect it, you can go through your Bluetooth settings. Go to LIC Pro Controller and hit Remove. Or you can simply... Push the button. The lights turn off. Your controller is disconnected. You want to turn it back on. You can push the buttons. Notice it says connected. The lights are going to flash until you open Steam. But for the most part, it should be working. And I'll test it. A button, B button, X, Y. So it's working. Like I said, if you want to completely remove it, you can hit remove device. Yes. Your computer will remove it. There you go. Now you'd have to reconnect the whole thing through Bluetooth and all of that again. But that is essentially how you do it. I know the last video was, excuse me, the last video was two minutes. This one's going to be a little bit longer because I'm trying to slow it down a little and explain more. Um, I hope that format is OK. Um, it's, it, it's basically the same exact process. I just try to explain it a little bit better than before. Um, I know some people were saying the controller was picked up by the PC but not recognized on Dolphin. If that happens, it's probably something to do with your Dolphin version or your Bluetooth drivers. So work it out with your computer because past that point, I can't necessarily help you. A lot of questions were asked and I hope I was able to cover a lot of these questions in this video. Um, however, do not be afraid to leave more comments. I will do my best at answering them. Um, and if I have to make a third video on this, I will because I enjoy doing this kind of thing and helping people out. So thank you for watching and I will see you dudes next time. Goodbye.